Praising God opened the door for us to get a job we were not qualified to get. All right. Now, the other thing that praise will do, when you're looking for direction and you need God to tell you what to do. All right. There are times... <clears throat> There are times when you praise God. Oh, Father, I bless your holy name. I know that you have, you know the plans you have for me. God, I know that you're on my side. I know that you're for me and not against me. I know you love me. Thank you so much for all you've done, all you're doing, all you're going to do. And you start rehearsing some of the crazy things he's done in your life. And you can't help but start feeling grateful and appreciative. And you start getting exhilarated thinking. And it builds up your hope as you rehearse the former blessings, waiting for the latter blessings. I'm telling you, this really works. And as you praise, what you're doing is conf you're confounding the enemy. You're confusing the enemy that may try to fight against your blessing. You're confusing the enemy. Praise confuses the enemy, and you are praising God. You're, he's inhabiting your praise. You're lifting up your own spirit, and you're busting down the, op the opposition. You're knocking down the obstacles and the hurdles. And I'm telling you, it's something about praising God that really works. Another thing that helps when you praise God, the sacrifice of praise is very difficult. Heck. Ask me how I know. The sacrifice of praise is difficult for many. Because when we are hurting, discouraged, frustrated, um, afraid, whatever the case may be, or even doubtful, what ends up happening, especially if we're discouraged, we want to cry. It's natural. That is a human instinct. That's part of our release. We want to cry. We want to boo-hoo it out. We want to handle it with tears. We want to massage it with crying. Do you understand what I mean? But what God says is that's a perfect time to praise me. So if you got tears running down your face, praise him. Praise him while you're crying. If you can't think of anything good because you're so discouraged, Say, Lord, I praise you for being the lifter up of my head. I praise you for healing my heart. I praise you, Lord, that by your stripes I am healed. I praise you. Put the word in there. I praise you, Lord, that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I praise you, Father, that it shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for being my defense. Thank you for being my protector. Thank you for being my counselor. Thank you for being my healer. Thank you for being my provider. Thank you, Lord, for guiding, leading, and steering me out of the wrong direction into the right direction. Thank you, Lord, for guiding my steps because you said in your word, while tears are running down your face and you don't know what's going to happen, you said in your word, Lord, that the steps of the righteous man are ordered by the Lord and you delight in his way. Well, Lord, 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 help me, Lord. I mean, cry out, ask for help, whatever. But pour your heart out and praise. Cry and praise. Don't complain, Lord, why are you doing this to me? The Bible says God cannot be tempted with evil. He's not going to tempt you with evil. He's not going to discourage you. He's not going to set up roadblocks to, to make you trip over your own feet and say, ha, <laughs> ha. Gotcha, look at you. I knew you couldn't handle it. No, that's not the way God operates. So whatever is happening in your life, trust God. I feel that right now all in my spirit. Trust God. Don't lean on men. Don't fear what somebody can do. 
what somebody might say. Don't be afraid of the boss. Don't be afraid when your bank account looks skimpy. Trust God. 